Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you what Varus can do after his buffs. He got a huge buff to his E, giving him 30% higher AD scaling. So playing Varus full AD and lethality I think is better than ever. We're going to be playing it in the mid lane. It's just as good in the bot lane as well. Wow, that's that's actually incredible. We're going to get a uh, extra item to start with. We are going to be late to lane though. I'll just start with... Uh... No, I'll just grab another longsword for extra damage. I'll miss a couple of minions. That's all right though. I am A-OK -okay with that. This matchup's going to be pretty challenging in the Zed. We're going to have to get ahead on him early and never let him kill us. If he gets ahead on us, there's absolutely nothing we can do. It'll be, he'll become like a tsunami where he doesn't even have to do anything. So we're going to miss one minion XP. And we got... Looks like we got these two minions of XP. That's good. We get our double auto down from hell blades we didn't get our third one down and we got presence of mind healing off that as well we've already gotten 66 presence of mind uh mana back i prefer presence of mind over mana flow a lot of the time it just gives back more mana mana flow is more of uh i don't know if you really need the sorcery tree it's a good option but if you don't there's really no point that was a good juke we got him farming max range with his abilities. So now he's got to choose if he wants to hit me or the minions. So if my minions are full HP and he steps up, he's probably going to try to hit me. If my minions are low and he steps up, he's probably going to try to hit my minions. Pretty simple. Like there, my minions are like full health. So when he steps up, he's obviously going to try to hit me. Same thing here. Just get some poke damage on him. There we go. He's gonna go for this cannon. That's good, he used his Q. It gives us more room to breathe. All right, his big ability's on cooldown now. That's a really long one. We could have also pinched off an E there. I'm just a little bit nervous about his minions. His minions are chunking. Oh, we missed a minion thing. It's unfortunate. Bonk. We're gonna hit our other refill. Poke him with an E, miss the E. That nah, wasn't great. He got off his electrocute off that. We are at least dumping the wave. We can reset here if we really want to. Our Hellblades is about to be back up. I'll just reset. This is a really good time to do so. We get a free back, we're on a cannon wave. He can't shove in the wave even if he wanted to. We'll go straight for more AD. We got our refills back, got mana back. He's not gonna be able to shove that wave in time. We're gonna be going for the OP Varus carry build. Cause like we mentioned at the start of the video, Varus got a massive AD scaling buff on his E. So you wanna try to stack as much physical damage and penetration as you can. Varus' abilities all do physical damage except for his R, which is magic. So we missed two melees, but we got the XP from one of them. Oh, I missed that one. Got it. These minions are going to pour over into my turret here in a second. Got a full charge for extra damage. And bada boom. We're up uh, 10 CS. That's nearly two waves. See if we can maintain it. Got our ward down. Hit him with an E. Yeah, he's gonna taste the wrath of my hell of blades. He took a double auto there. That was spicy. It's nice having fast attack speed with hell of blades, even when we're not building any attack speed. Got him. He didn't commit to left or right. He kind of just stayed centered, trying to juke. A lot of people do that when they're juking. They never actually really move. So it's good to hold on to your skill shot. I'm trying to force him to farm with his uh, Qs. I'm actually going to go ahead and mute all. I want to play on hard mode. Forces me to look on the minimap more. Oh, he hit level 6 before me. Woo wee. That's exciting. We're pretty dang low on mana because we don't have tier yet. Oh, he just wasted that ability. 
You get like nothing out of that. You got very little out of that, I should say. Still up about 10 CS. He's level six, so we could threaten an all in. He keeps using his shadow too soon though. He's doing it in a weird way where I'm not really pressuring and he's just throwing it out like it's a Cinder Q. So then once that's on cooldown, he can't really threaten an all in. He doesn't have the damage output. He didn't juke back on that one, he just kept moving. That was actually a good shadow. He got off some damage. He held on to Q for too long. Go ahead and hit a refill here. He doesn't actually have a refill. We should be able to out sustain him. Looks like he's going in for kills. I'll take turret plates. Got it. Nice. Yeah, sorry, Zed. You're in a bit of trouble now. He is in a sticky wicket. We have him right where we want him. Got it. I almost had him there. He flashed our R and we didn't have enough mana for our E. We might have been on the flash auto auto, but he could have R'd us and maybe we would have died to the turret. He's missing minions though, so even as things are right now, it's still great for us because he's he needs to back. He's probably waiting to gank from his jungler. So what's going on? Got it. <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, he's being greedy. So with a lot of laners, even if you're in diamond, if they're behind and they feel like they keep falling farther behind because they're out CSing them and you're bowling them, they'll start making bigger mistakes because they, they feel desperate. Like if they don't do something now, or if they don't make up for their shortcomings, that it won't matter, but he just needed to back and cut his losses on that one. Now that we have Eclipse, it's gonna be hard for him to kill us because of the shield it gives. And we're also gonna have boots. We should still have refill advantage unless he buys refill. Refill is just kind of overpowered, man. You get to have it for pretty much the whole game until you need to sell it. So he just bought a refill. He's gonna get a little bit less value out of it because I've already gotten like four four charges so i think these this is my sixth charges these are his first two i'm okay with that we're gonna max e second we could actually freeze it right here you pull it off to the side so they're not too close underneath your turret we'll leave a cannon that's like three caster creeps a little bit better than three casters zed might roam here yeah he's roaming so when he starts roaming i needed to ping that sooner First of all, yeah, I needed to ping sooner, but also I'm going to start power shoving and he's going to lose plate. So even if Zed gets a kill or even worst case, if he gets two kills, like I'll get a couple of plates and it can kind of like make up for it. The worst thing you can do is uh, like follow your lane or super late to where you're not going to be able to do anything and you're just following. It's like your team doesn't get mad at you, but the plates is free. Like we just got 320 gold. I think Zed burned his R as well, like he can't fight me. Got him. Yeah, there's no way. Without his R, like he can't. And plus I have more items than him. Even if he had his R, since I have exhaust, he just can't. If you're playing against someone who can't threaten an all in on you, like Ivern mid or Soraka mid, something that's low damage, or I'm trying to think of something that's weak like maybe a Vagar, then uh, you can go TP or a heal. You don't need exhaust unless the enemy laner has absurd burst. We still have our R as well. His R is probably off of cooldown by now. That R is very low cooldown ability. He's gonna wanna stop me from breaking this. It's almost gone, <laughs> I should probably just leave it. It is first turret gold though. Oh, almost got him. I wanted to get him and the minions there. 
The turret's my main focus right now. Alright, I'll just break it. They laid Harold top. We could look for a roam here. I think their bot lane might be roaming on me. They're missing. It's kind of hard for you to roam on Varus because you don't have any way to really stay alive if you run into multiple people. You don't have a dash. Is that our talent does? So it, it's kind of hard for us to follow the roam. We'll just shove the waves. That's forced to be here. It's not ideal though because we're just trading CS and it's diluting my gold lead over him right now. We'll go for the. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to go play it still cat. When you look at their team, they're triple AD. The only literal only way they're gonna be able to kill me is if they land a rumble or in something else, or if Zed just one shots me with the Caitlyn Graves. So I'm gonna get played still caps. If you're really confident and comfortable, you should go for the Lucidities instead. You'll be able to snipe more. Have lower cooldowns. I'm gonna start pushing out. Ooh, Rumble here. He's not even that far ahead. Got it. Oh my god, I missed my Q. Thank goodness Rumble didn't have Flash to get over the wall. That Rumble damage is kind of insane. I'm gonna shove this out. There's two of them bot. The only person who's up is Graves right now. And I'm healing with my Eclipse. I'm gonna hold on to my E and use it as an escape if I need to. Ooh. I mean my, uh, my E, not my Eclipse. I need him to come over here. I have tier two boots and Graves doesn't. He may not be able to keep up with me here. Got him. I actually landed that. That's cool. Uh, he's not that low. Oh, there's only Eve charm. Oh, it's a Predator Eve build. I like that. I think Predator Evelyn's way better than Electric Eve Evelyn. At least early mid game. It's really strong. I've won uh, the vast majority of my games in Grandmaster and in Challenger with uh, Predator Evelyn. On Predator Evelyn, I had like a basically a 70-80% win rate on it. Now granted, I only played like across two different accounts, maybe 10 games of it, but still, I was carrying like every single game. It's really, really strong. It's, it's even better in uh, Iron through D4 because your ganks connect more, but in high elo, it's still incredibly good. Got him. I missed my Q, landed my other stuff, my R and the E. It's easy to land your abilities once you hit them with R, but you want to try to get autos on them before you use at least one of your ability. That way you're using your blight. Since we have hella blades, it connects pretty quick. Dude, we have a huge level lead on this guy. We're four, four levels up. We landed that too. Got this pushed up really far. We're in a really bad spot positional wise. They could collapse on us from like eight different angles and come all the way up behind me to where I have no escape. So I'll get a deep board down. Oh, come on. That cue was right on the money, baby. Looks like Zed's roaming. Question mark. He's dead. Auto attack R. Drop the E. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, those blights are strong. Oh, almost got me with that. 
I really need Evelyn to step in here and... Oh, I'm dead. Brands are. Oh, my God. That, that really hurt. <laughs> I needed Evelyn to help sooner, and then I also needed her not to bounce the brand R on me. Oh, well. We are level 13. Highest in the game. We're good to go. After Mana Moon, you're generally going to look to get Sorlda's or Collector. Graves has a bunch of armor. He built armor item. He also gets armor off his grit. I'm building the Sorlda's, man. Such a good item. I don't know why it gives 20 ability haste. That seems like a bit much. A bit much. 20 ability haste. Yeah, we'll go for that. I'll hold on to my uh, refill for now. It's probably worth selling it for a long sort of... I like keeping it though, it makes me feel special. So we're gonna have to play for drag soul, objectives, or team fights. We still don't have like outer bot or outer top for whatever reason. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But we come mid to farm my CS and then immediately leave. It just doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense. Graves on, dude, he just lost over half his health off two abilities. Zed's top side. I might be able to kill Bran. I just need my Q. Graves is healing off his stupid item. I might have to go fight Zed, man. The team's just power grouping bot. I can easily clear out mid and fight one versus three and just kite back, but I don't want to have to be roaming. Ferris isn't very mobile for that type of thing. Boom, 460. She's still healing though. She's got some life still in fleet. Oh, I think I hit Kate. I made the sound like I did. I gotta go top. Drop the E and head over. Still big enough to fight Zed even without exhaust. Graves is about to get it. Nice. Got it. Someone needs to rotate back mid. I can clear this wave out and keep going. Oh, I guess dragon's up for grabs. They're probably gonna get dragon. Not the end of the world, it's only a cloud drake. Varus does kind of fall off late game a little bit though. He's not someone you want to be playing full build generally when the enemies are full build. Oh, he literally had vision. Oh, wow. Oh my god, dude. Brand is giga balanced. Oh my Jesus. He literally has one item and did that to me. When I'm, I was three levels up on him at the time. That's insane. There's no way for me to chase him. If I stop to use an ability, he can hit me with his stun. That's insane. I could have potentially like flashed his ability and maybe been able to kill him. It would have been tough though. His damage is kind of nuts. I'll get the blue ward. Gwen doing Gwen things. Rumble's way out of position now. Uh, where's the Lucian auto? I'll go clear top. I'll just be weary of Brandon and team fights. I'll never go in for an auto on him with my Hella Blades. I'll just sit back. How can't Lucian not catch up to this? There we go. Brand's gotten so much shut down for me now, too. He's probably gonna have two items next time I see him. I wanna get my passive, keep my passive up by killing the small golems there with my E while hitting their red buff. That way I can uh, take it faster. 
getting that extra 32% attack speed. Took those three camps really fast. I only did it since Evelyn's bot, so I should probably use it back anyways. Just can't deal with Brand. If he lands a stun, I'm giga dead. Giga dead. There's just no way. At this point in the game, you're kind of of a support, almost like a Zerath support, where you just sit back and chill. Ah, oh, Miss Cannon feels bad. Eh, nearly five hundred. Got the Kate. I'm just gonna slowly push this wave up and siege them down. Missed my cue on that one. See, see, one brand ability did like 600 health. What the heck? That's <laughs> so stupid. He's a lower level with less items. I need Nami to lay a ward. So I can see with my Q. My Q shoots farther than I have vision. The question is, how long are we going to sit here and do this? Just back and forth. I don't know, man. We need uh, someone to do something here. We can't just sit here all day and clear waves. So Naomi finally laid her ward. She didn't lay it very far. Yeah, Brand's being disgusting. Take this. Ooh, I, I, I actually can't really because of the rumble. Oh! <laughs> Downfalls, Graves. That's pretty funny. This game's gonna drag on forever just because there's like no teamwork. It's just like my team grouping mid. And the enemies have really good wave clear as well. It's really hard to take turrets out from under them. That's turret. That is turret. I can keep this solo pushed. We need the side waves pushing though. And when Zed stops up that far, he needs to die. I'll, I'll go in for the flank, I guess. It's just so inefficient. Oh, they have Baron warded too. No wonder. No wonder they're so comfortable with just four people sitting underneath their mid turret. Because they're, they're never worried about us taking Baron. There's never that Baron threat if they know if we're on it. We do have Dragon Advantage at least. We could definitely do it. Like, we have a lot of damage. All right, we're out of there. Ooh, actually, I don't know if we can now. We'll get three stacks of Blight and keep using abilities. Blight does a lot of damage a lot of percent damage. Oh, Nam is dead. Oh, Lucian. I can't deal with rumble like this. Oh, nice. Okay. That's actually what we needed. Now let's get this dragon, dude. It's free. Now that we have Baron buff, they can't just perma clear waves against us. Mm, this is weird.
Got it. Oh, I didn't even get the I didn't even get the kill. I just got an assist. Feels bad, man. Where's that at? Did he hop the wall? He's over here somewhere. Brand's actually gonna kill my Eve here. Busted. Eve is so low. I can't believe she's blind checking these bushes. <laughs> R auto attack EQ. I like it. Caitlyn really wanted that red buff, I guess. Need to get this Baron buff on the turret. Got our slows down. Graves lost half his health. We'll keep on pushing it. Need to get good value out of this Baron buff. It's the only way you can end when they have such good wave clear. And if I can land a Q here or there, it forces them to recall. It's a battle of attrition. And we will slowly win this battle. Oh gosh, Nami. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brand makes your teammates like a bad thing to have with his R. Brand R seems like a bit much, dude. Surprised that, that champion doesn't get banned more than it does. It's like the Darius of the support role. Ah, oh, I guess still got her even though she flashed. I'm a little scared about Zed. Actually, I have my R. I think my cannon's gonna get that turret. Yeah, my cannon minion's smurfing. Oh, it started shooting something else because I walked away. Got you, buddy. Who's alive? Oh, it's Graves. I gotta keep running. Got my slow on him at least. And he's dead. Thank you. Nice. We're finally wrapping this game up, dude. It can be tough. So tough when their wave clear is this good. We would have already... Oh my god. We would have already ended if their wave clear wasn't this good. Because our wave clear is... One of the best in the games. Varus. Oh, cool. The minions stopped my back. Missed him with my R. That sucks. Bonk. <laughs> 600 damage and is slow. That's the funny thing about Searle does. Just hitting them with an ability is at 30% slow. It's so broken. Oh, man. We're sitting on a lot of gold. We'll buy a collector. Sell this and grab a... Uh, I say we get a GA. I don't know, it's not spicy. Staying alive is cool though. If they force an all in on me with like KR, Rumble, R, Z, R, and... Oh, that's it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this buff Varus gameplay. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.